Hello, welcome back to Road to Comic Con with Pale Horse. I'm here at a uh, park that I used to go to when I was a, a kid in high school. Um, it's changed a lot in the last handful of years. But um, the reason why I'm here is I'm hiding from the sun. Uh, it's about 90 degrees out and uh, I needed a break because I walked over to uh, a meeting I was having with uh, a local uh, motorcycle association. Uh, they're having a benefit in about six weeks for cystic fibrosis and uh, I'm pretty excited about uh, doing a uh, charity event and the cool thing about it is it's going to be live painting and um, they gave me full creative control over uh, what I want to paint uh, so I'm going to be doing a um, motorcycle themed painting obviously um, but um, the whole idea um, is mine so I can uh, come up with some cool stuff and uh, and paint it and uh, so hopefully I'll be able to finish it that day um, my battle plan for that is uh, to do uh, as much as I can before I get there and record it uh, show it on a time-lapse on my table while I'm actually doing the live painting and um, uh, hopefully I finish in four hours because uh, that's that's all the time I have at the event and they're auctioning it off that day so I got a lot of work to do in a short amount of time but I got to get back home um, yeah getting back to this park it's uh, pretty cool there's uh, some pretty cool uh, stairs that are made out of like rock and it looks like kind of like a, an elvish uh, step through the woods you know like um, in Lord of the Rings or something but uh, it's also pretty uh, pretty big if you can see behind me there's a super big field with uh, some pretty big trees a lot of room to run around a lot of kids come over here during the winter and uh, do their toboggans and stuff like that tubing down there there's a cool little river over here, the Splains River, and uh, I used to hang out on the trees and dangle above the the, uh, the river when I was younger. Now those trees are gone because this place used to flood a lot, now they're adding a bunch of canals and, not canals, but uh, uh, ways to divert the, the water when it gets too high, but uh, it's changed a lot. A little, little bit still the same. Yeah, a lot of it's different. Still cool. Glad to be out of the sun for a few minutes, but uh, <clears throat> I gotta get home. Got a lot of work to do. It's tough being an artist. I'm on a mission. I got this piece of uh, MDF board I'm taking to my friend's house. He's a, a luthier. And that, for people that don't know, a luthier, somebody that builds stringed instruments, such as guitars, violins, things of that nature. I'm not sure if they do any work on pianos. I'm not sure if that counts, but whatever. He's got a table saw and I need it. And he's a good guy. I've known him for a long time. And he's real close, only a couple blocks away, so walking down the alley so it doesn't look stupid. All right, getting any unwanted attention. See ya. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. I made a lot of good effort on my uh, underpainting for the uh, event coming up. And um, I think my determination paid off. 
I was a little um, um, having a little bit of trouble with the perspective of putting this background in here and um, you know I just uh, took my time and, and thought about it and and just kind of pictured myself being there in in the environment so uh, that helped out a little bit with me trying to um, get everything to, to, to look right. I'm happy with the progress I made tonight so I'm gonna pack it away and uh, save it for uh, another day so keep painting.